LibraChat is a popular open source library for building ChatGPT clones. In this video, we'll learn how to wire it up with the ClickHouse MCP server. Everything that you see in this video is also available in written form in the ClickHouse docs in the using ClickHouse MCP server with LibraChat page. I'll put a link to that in the description. So first we're gonna clone the ClickHouse examples repository. This has examples for loads of different things, but in particular, we've been adding lots of examples of using the ClickHouse MCP server with different AI libraries. Once that's cloned, we're gonna CD into examples, AI, MCP, and Libra chat. We'll then clone the Libra chat project itself into the folder Libra. We're gonna be launching Libra chat via Docker. So make sure you've got that running on your machine. We're then gonna have a look at a Docker Compose override file that we've got. So you'll notice at the top, there's a service called API. So we're gonna be adding in a volume that's gonna mount the LibraChat YAML file into app LibraChat YAML. We'll see what that file looks like in a minute. And then next is the ClickHouse MCP server. So you'll notice we point it at a Docker image, we give it a name, we then mount port 8001 to be at 8000, and then we're gonna add in some hosts. And then right down the end under environment, we're pointing it at the ClickHouse SQL playground. But if you wanna point this at your own ClickHouse server, this is the place to do it. We're gonna then copy that Docker Compose file into the Libra folder, and then we'll CD in there. What we need to do next is create an .env file. So we'll do that from .env.example. And then we're gonna search for our LLM API key. So I'm using Anthropic, so let's look for that. And you can see at the moment it says user provided, but I wanna paste it in here, so it's automatically gonna use it. So I'm gonna come over to the Anthropic website. I'm gonna create myself a new API key and then I'll copy it to the clipboard. Don't worry, this one will be deleted by the time you see this video. I'll then paste it into the file and we can save the file and exit. The next thing we need to do is look at that Libra chat file that I mentioned before. So we're gonna copy the example one to librachat.yaml and then we're gonna go right down the bottom and we're gonna add in the config for our MCP server. We're gonna call it ClickHouse Playground and then you'll notice that it's pointing to that Docker URL that we just set up. So that's our ClickHouse MCP server configured and now we're ready to call Docker Compose up. You'll see lots of log messages going through and once they stop, we can navigate over to localhost port 3080 and you can see LibraChat is ready to go. So it's asking us to create a user, so let's fill in the details to create ourselves a new user. And at the end of that, it'll then take us to the login page. So let's log in with our user. Next, I'm going to change the model at the top from ChatGPT to one of the Claude models. But as you can see, there are lots of other ones to choose from. So if you wanna use one of those, that's perfectly fine. And then we're gonna come down the bottom and you can see where it says MCP service, we're gonna change that to use our ClickHouse Playground one. And then we're gonna ask it, what's the most interesting data set to query? And you can see it first lists the databases, followed by the tables, and we can click through to see what data was returned by each of these tool calls. Okay, so now it's decided which ones are interesting. So it's saying New York Taxis, GitHub Events, YouTube, Hacker News, and Stack Overflow. Let's ask it about tip patterns in New York. Now this time it's executing queries for various types of analysis. We'll speed this up a bit for the video. And now that it's finished, we can see it's identified the average tip, the most common payment method, seasonal variations, and so on. And apparently New Yorkers are most generous early in the morning. If you liked this video, you might also like this one here where we have a look at the ClickHouse MCP server itself. 